My name is Carmen Mark. Today I'm going to talk about this book, Violet Shrink. It's written by Christine Valdacino. It's illustrated by me and published by Groundwood Book. This book is about Violet Shrink. She is a girl, but she doesn't like all kinds of parties and social gatherings. It makes her fierce and sweat, and sometimes she got stomach ache. So it's very hard for her. And what does she do? She tried to imagine she is as brave as a snake or a shark, and that actually makes her feel a lot better. And I think we are like Violet Shrink sometimes because we have our own challenges to overcome. Just like right now, we have to stay home all day long. It's bored, isn't it? We always trying to think some fun things to do, but the day seems really long. And you can't go to school. You can't see your friends and teachers. And I know you are not allowed to go out to play at the park. That is tough, isn't it? I know, I know it's tough. I hope we can find some fun things that we can do all together. Any suggestions that we can do? Oh, wait a minute. I got an idea. Maybe we can all act like Valor Shrink. We can try to imagine ourselves as something that makes us feel brave. How's that? So for her, it's a snake or it's a shark, but it could be anything. It could be a cat, um, it could be a tiger, it could be a dinosaur, or a fire truck, or a boat, or even a water bottle. Just think about anything that makes you feel brave. And we can draw it on a piece of paper and stick it on the wall. How's that? I think that's a good idea. It's fun if we can all do together. How's that? Let's do it. What? No? Okay, I know what you are thinking. I know. You think that, Carmen, you draw books. You can do so well. But it's not for me. You know, my drawing is awful. And my mom can't draw. She can't help me. I'm sorry. This is not for me. I can't do this. Come on, you can draw, every kid can draw, you can do it. So what about this? Let's all go into my studio and we take a couple minutes. I'm going to show you how to draw. And after that, you can draw your own version and stick it on the wall. This is sounds great. Okay, let's come in this way. This is my studio. So I have three tables and this table, I do all the dirty work like paper cutting, gluing, things like that. And the second table is my computer desk, but I paint small things here too. If I have to paint really large and then I paint right here and you look at this card, I keep all my color pencil and paint and water here. And right now, I'm going to show you how to draw. Now, I'm going to show you this versions of Valor Shrink. And I'm going to use this crayon. And this is not the regular crayon because when we add water and the crayon dissolve, like watercolor, it's really cool. So let me show you how. Let's start with her head. Her, she has a pointy head. And then we go down to her belly. She has a big belly. And then we go to tail. And she has a fin here. And she has a pair, like a bird wings. And then she has another fin on the top so we already got the outline and then you see the dark color on the top 
So we are going to do this. And we fill up all the color. Maybe a little here, a little here. And when we add water, it's all blend in. This is really cool. You can add less or you can add more. It's up to you because you are the artist. A little bit of shadow here. Yep. Then I make her mouth and she has a sharp teeth. And then I make her eye. Also, you see this sling here. And don't forget her glasses, that is her signature. Then we can add some bubbles. The water bubble, the baby sun wave. Maybe seaweeds. So we are almost done. Just give a little bit water. Just let it blend in. This has less texture. So now I have a version of Thalus Shrink. So now you can start to draw your own version to make you feel brave. But when you make something, please don't forget to tag me on social media. I would love to see it. I hope this video inspired you to draw more and please stay brave. See you next time.